Hello everybody, welcome back to Outfit. Uh, I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. That's a very tired Brooklyn hanging out over there. Uh, welcome back to another Outfit workout. We have today a 40 minute one weight workout. So, if uh, you have either the choice of using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, Coach Cole's gonna be using a dumbbell, I'm gonna be using a kettlebell. For most of the movements today, not much difference between the two, so whichever is easier for you to grab. Um, a couple things to know is besides these 40 minute workouts that we're gonna be doing, we also post 20 minute body weight workouts every week and then 10 minute ab workouts. Thank you. Um, so do me a favor, go ahead, like this video and then subscribe to the channel because again, we upload every week and then you'll get notifications when those uploads happen. We're gonna be hopping into the workout in just a minute. I do wanna point out one thing though, you're gonna notice that both Coach Cole and myself, we're working out indoors and we're not wearing masks. We're only doing that for the purpose of this video. Anytime we're indoors, working out or not, we're, we're both wearing masks. Uh, we are still in the middle of pandemic. There is end in the sight, but we still need to keep everyone else safe, keep ourselves safe. Uh, being safe is a team sport, so we ask that you also continue to wear your mask, particularly when you're indoors. With that being said, Coach Cole is going to kick us off with the warm-up. All right, let's start out with the good old 30 jumping jacks. What does it sound safe? A little bit of blood moving. Count to 30. Great warm up, get your hips moving, the hamstring stretched out. You did four already? I thought I did. I definitely am on my fourth right now. Speedy. Wow. All right. I thought I was counting. Um, let's get a quick 30 butt kick. Stick yourself in the butt. One, two, three, four. Keep on counting. I'll keep counting this time, I promise. It's hard to count and talk. You can leave the counting to me. I'm okay with that. All right, that's fine. I'll stop when you stop. How many are we doing? 30. <laughs> oh, I forgot to count now. We're at 23. Let's put our hands on the floor, let's walk it out to a nice high plank. Once we're here, we'll get five plank drops. Right arm down, left arm down, right arm up, left arm up, left arm down, right arm down, left arm up, right arm up, right arm up. You get the gifts. Go through five total. I was on three. No, he's on four. Once he finishes the fifth, he's going to walk his hands into his feet. Roll your spine back up, right back down to the floor. Walk him on out. One push up. Welcome back in. That's one inch worm, two more inch worms, just three. And pop those feet wide where you like to squat. Ten air squats just to finish it out. Get the little parallel a little bit. Cool. Breathe it on out. Take a second. If you need to grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell, go ahead and do so. If not, grab a quick drink. What are you laughing at? What did I do? Do we have a clock? Do we have a clock? No. No? No. Okay. Yeah, um, grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Uh, Todd will explain the workout in about 30 seconds. Um, we'll get it rocking. It's not that hard. I can put it up in half a second. Doing great today. <laughs> All right, so for today's workout, for the first portion for our strength focus, we're gonna be on a 30 second clock. Clock's gonna beep every 30 seconds. For the first 30 seconds, we're gonna start out with three strict press on one side, 
Coach Cole's got the dumbbell on his hand, on his shoulder, I'm sorry. So for the strict press, he's gonna squeeze his quads, he's gonna squeeze his glutes, nice tight core, press up overhead. When he's overhead, notice his thumb is facing behind him. You wanna to try to focus on that, as opposed to uh, rotating, rotating, and having your thumb facing inside. So try to have that thumb facing behind you. Once he gets done with the three strict press, he's gonna do push press for the remainder of the time. So nice shallow dip, drive, press out through the top, dip, drive, press. We'll be going until we switch. Once we switch, he's gonna switch sides. Three strict press, one, two, three. Straight into push press, dip and drive, press, dip and drive, press until the 30 seconds are up. 30 seconds are up, dumbbell goes down. He's gonna get into a plank position. He's ready, I love this. Ready for some push-ups, 30 seconds of push-ups. His uh, hands are right below his shoulders, his chest touches the ground, nothing else, not his legs, not his stomach, nice lock out at the top. So chest touches in the bottom, get that lock out at the top, go ahead and relax, thank you. Uh, and then you will do that for 30 seconds, as many as you can. So the push press and the push-ups, we're just on a clock, you're gonna do as many as you can. The last 30 seconds, we're gonna be resting. We're gonna do that for six rounds. So strict press, push press on one side for 30 seconds, Strict press, push press on the other side for 30 seconds. Banging out some push ups for 30 seconds. And then we got 30 seconds of rest. So we're gonna start in just about 30 seconds or so. So if you need to grab something, get a drink or something like that, go ahead and do that quickly. And I'll let you know when we have a 10 second clock counting down. <clears throat> Upper body, push stay, my favorite. Not my best day, but one of my favorite days. The two always don't go together. You ready? I'm ready. Coach Gold's ready. I'm ready. Brooklyn. Brooklyn's ready for something. Ready for bed? She really is. Why are you so tired? Ten seconds. She's training clients all day. <laughs> all right. You're gonna start on three. Two, one, I'm starting on my left. I'll start on my left as well. Three strict press, one. Legs and your hips aren't moving, two, three. And then we got that dip and drive, locking out overhead. Good. So we're going for this whole 30 seconds. Again, when you're in that overhead position, trying to have that thumb facing behind you, you got about 10 seconds to go. If you need to rest, resting overhead is a nice spot to rest. Next rep. We're gonna switch in three, two, one, let's switch sides. Strict press, three times, and then into your push presses. Something we really wanna to differentiate today is that strict press from the push press, all right? That strict press is all in your arm and your shoulder. Your legs aren't helping you at all. Once you get to push pressing, a little dip and drive in the legs are helping you a ton. Cool, they're both game movements. They're a little bit different. If you struggle differentiating those sometimes, today's a great day. Three strict, and we're on the floor for some push ups. So remember again, hands are just below the shoulders. You're going to try to keep those arms tucked to the side. So don't let them flare out, flare out, flare out. Try to keep those elbows tucked to the side. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, 30 seconds of rest, and that's gonna be our first round. We got five more rounds to go. Very nice, very nice. I like these combos. Love, I'll provide a first day. Works out, works out well. Mm. Okay, we got 10 seconds. And then we're going back. I started on my left side. Coach Cole did as well. So starting on whatever side you started before. Back in in three, two, one. Here we go. Strict press three times. Remember, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes, tight core. Once you get done with those three strips, straight into your push presses. Good. Over halfway. Five seconds, then we switch. Three, two, one, let's switch sides. Strict, three times. And then your push press. <laughs> oh, 
All right, less than 10 seconds. Going into push-ups in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Straight into those push-ups. 30 seconds, then we got rest. If you set a good number for yourself last time, that's a great number for a target to have for these whole six rounds right now. I did 15, so my goal would be to stay as close to 15 as I can through the end of the workout today. It's going to be tough for me this round because I spent half the time talking. But for you, take that number, get nice and close, you got 10 more seconds. Alright, you got your rest coming up in just about 5 seconds. Bang a couple more out for 3, 2, 1. Alright, 2 pounds in. Nice job, nice job. What's your stronger arm? My stronger arm? Yeah. Like for what feels uh, I mean, I want to say my right. I'm right-handed. Yes, so am I. But like, if I'm doing something like snatches, for example, I'm more technically proficient on my left. Same. Because I have to be. I guess I can't muscle through it as much. Yeah. Okay. Left arm in three, two, one. Here we go. Get through this round, you're halfway done with the strength portion. Is the same throw with your legs or is it the opposite? Um, I'd have to test it. I can't honestly remember. What about you? My right arm's a little bit stronger, but you're right. I'm probably a little bit more proficient with my left to make up for the, the imbalance. But my left leg is makes my right leg look like nobody. Three, two, my left leg one. Is the star of the show. Oh, the right leg. That's not what I expected you to say. What seems up afterwards, sadly. It's getting better, though. How are you improving it? Lots of single leg box step ups, lots of lunges, and unilateral work. The reason I say that is just because if you have one arm that feels stronger or better than the other, that's okay. It's probably going to happen just because of the way our bodies work. Um, but you can spend a little bit of time doing things like this too. One, on the floor versus push ups, focusing a lot on that pretty strict press on that weaker arm. Help yourself get stronger so you have a little bit more balance. It actually should be expected. You should expect that one side is not quite like the other. We have a bias, we have dominance. If you're right-handed, you're just gonna use your right arm more. That's gonna make that shoulder, that shoulder more mobile than the left one, just for the fact that you're using it more. Okay, go ahead and relax. 30 seconds of rest coming up. We're three rounds in, you got three rounds to go. I feel like your favorite holiday is quickly approaching. It's coming up. Five weeks away, is that okay? Best day of the year. <laughs> Valentine's Day. 10 seconds. Can't take myself to the movies this year because movies are close. But, okay. Three, Three two, one. Strict <laughs> press. Three. And then push press. Disclaimer, I've never taken myself to the movies. Not because I don't do things alone, I love doing things alone, but I just don't love going to the movies. I love going to the movies alone. God. I just don't like going to movies, period. So. Did you ever see Short Bus? Like, I wrote it, but I've never seen no, it. No, the movie. No. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's switch. You're getting a little bit tired of those push press. Always try to press. Remember, press with that weight over here. It's stronger. You get more room for air. Try and keep it off that shoulder. Is it? Should I watch it? We'll come back to that in a second. Another thing to just think: if you are getting struck, top, more tired, we are in the fourth round. Besides the resting overhead that Coach Cole was just talking about, use your legs more. Really, jump it up and then finish with the press. Jump it up and then finish with the press. Three, two, one. Here we go. Find that same number. I'm holding on to 15s. You can hold on to wherever we started. Here you're going to start to fatigue. What you don't want to let is for you to have this more like upward dog kind of movement and then you pick your hips up. You want to avoid that. So take more breaks if you need to, a, little, a couple extra seconds, but try to keep a nice solid core, a nice straight line. You're out. Okay, rest. 30 seconds of rest. We've got two more rounds. Two more rounds. Four, eight, yeah. Um, Short Bus is a very good movie that, yes, that you should see. Okay. Um, what, what, what year was it made? What era? I want to say it was about 
ballpark, 15 to 20 years ago. Okay, Matthew, if Matthew Camp, that was his, you know, his okay. yeah, that was his breakout movie. Round Ready? five, three, two, three straight, max push. Staying on it. Oops. Uh, John Mitchell Cameron, is that a person? A director? Not, not to me. <laughs> Sorry, whoever you are, I got it wrong. <laughs> you can get me wrong too. Never seen the movie. What? How am I supposed to know? Uh, he's no, just a famous director. No. Directors. Okay, a couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's switch. Straight press. Get those three out, then you can start using that lower body. Especially if we're getting a little bit tired, that arm's getting a little bit winky. Make sure we're thinking about that path that dumbbell is taking. Try not to let it get any far away from you toward the right, or to the left, or in front, or behind. You want a nice straight path from that shoulder overhead. Just gonna give you more efficiency, make their ups a little bit easier for yourself. Three, two, and push ups on the floor. Woo! So we gotta get through this round. We got one more round coming up. Oh, we'll, take a, we'll take a break. Uh, not a lot of upper body in that last round. Uh, we'll talk about the workouts and whatnot. So just know you got 10 more seconds of push ups coming up. Then rest. Come on. Three, two, one. Good. 30 seconds of rest, and then we got our last round coming up. Twenty seconds. One and done. Run straight. Ten seconds. Last time through. Coming up. Okay. Back at it in three, two, one. Last time for the strict press. On this side. Last time for push press. Remember, use those legs. Jump it up. Jump it up. <laughs> Jump around. That's what I was thinking. Jump around. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, 10 seconds. Man. Who's that song by? Criss Cross? I didn't know that. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Three, two, one. It's our only hit. Criss Cross is going to make you jump, jump. He's hating the song. <sighs> All right, 20 seconds here, push-ups. You're almost there. <laughs> Straight up and down, use those legs. 10 more seconds to move here. Get in now, hang on. Five, four, three, two, and last set of push-ups. If you have a number in mind, get that number done. Last push-up for the day. Right on through. All right, you got just about 15 seconds to go, 15 seconds of push-ups. We're gonna rest for a couple minutes. Try to just keep going. Just over 10 seconds. Try not to break that plank position. Hold it for a few if you have to. They got another one. Three, two, and five. Oh, right. sweet. Easy. Very nice, very nice. Catch your breath, get a drink. A little bit of rest. One and done, six and done, whatever. Take uh, about 60 seconds, 45, to find a drink, find anything you need. We will talk about our workout that's coming in a second. I will talk about our workout at the top of the demo. All right, feel that? I feel that in my arms. I am sure. Feeling that in my arms are much more than I thought it would feel in my arms. I pretty much can't guarantee you feeling things in my arms when I do that. Um, we were talking about earlier, maybe, maybe we should make some videos about how to get bigger arms. And then we realized neither of us should be on the thumbnail. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's do as I say, not as I do. I do know how to get bigger arms. I just clearly do not put in the work to do so. I just have other, other fitness endeavors that just get in the way. Um, all right, today's workout, we're going to do six rounds of it. It is an E3 mom, so every three minutes on the minute, you have four different movements to get done. 
If any of us finish all four of the movements, you have the rest of that three minute window to rest. Go you, you're moving. Um, if you don't finish that last movement, probably we're all, we're all gonna get to the last movement at least. If you don't finish your reps from the last movement, that's all right. Clock's gonna reset. At the end of every three minutes, you're gonna go right back in from the top. All right, so um, the faster you go, the more rest you can earn. Not necessarily maybe the smartest way to do this. Pick a steady pace, see how it goes in that first round. All right, four movements. First movement is skier hops. Todd loves these, I think they're hard, so perfect. Goldilocks zone. Um, you can take a nice big hop to the right and touch his left foot on the ground there with the right hand. You can take a nice big hop to the left, do a few more for me. One, two, three, 20. That's how we're gonna count. One counts as one, all right? 20 single arm thrusters are next. Todd's gonna pick an arm to start on. He's gonna bring that kettlebell up into a front rack hold. Dumbbell people, same hold, just like for our strict press we were just doing. Cool, keeping his chest nice and tall. Make sure his feet are where he likes to squat. He's gonna hit a full squat. Drive his legs up, punch overhead for one thruster, two thrusters, three. He has 20 total to do, all right? That means I'm probably gonna do 10 and 10. If you really think one arm's gonna struggle, you can do two sets of five, all right? That's fine, I just want 20 reps from us, cool? Um, please do not do all 20 on your right, make your left arm work a little bit too. Keep them even, 10, 10. After his 20 thrusters, he's gonna hit the floor, he's ready to go down there. He's gonna do 30 sit-ups, feet, feet on the ground behind his head, hands on the ground behind his head, touching those toes, probably a little bit in front of those toes so he gets a nice full sit-up. Counting to 30, I need to do like a couple half sit-ups for me. What I want us to avoid is only touching the midfoot. It's not really about the touch, it's more about your torso. He's not sat all the way up, so I want him sitting up, engaging all that core, <clears throat> earning those 30 sit-ups, all right? Then he's gonna hop on up for 30 air squats, um, feet where he likes to go. Just do a few air squats for me, cool. Up and down, hitting at least parallel, whatever is the bottom of his squat for me today, or your squat. A um, couple of things I don't want to see. One, we just don't want to do any squats on our toes. All right, keep the keep your foot nice and grounded. That's all. Normally, you, you don't have to demo that. Oh, that's okay. fine. He's like, I don't want to do any squat on my toes. I exactly. <laughs> don't squat on your toes. Keep your feet grounded. I do would like you to do a couple squats where you just like don't stand up all the way, or our chest is kind of lazy out there in front. Cool. This is like a weird running caveman gorilla. Let's not do any of that. Cool. Keep the chest nice and proud. Mine does, oh, mine does say proud right now. I thought I was wearing a different shirt. Look at that. Wearing an orange shirt today. Everywhere. Um, there are 30 air squats. Cool. 20 ski hops. Yep. 20 single arm thrusters. 30 sit ups. 30 air squats. You have three minutes to do that in. You're moving fast and feeling good. You get some rest at the end. We're on a slower vibe today. We're just going to restart every three minutes. Cool. The bigger the ski hops, the better. This is the space you have. You have 30 seconds. Amazing. 30 seconds till we get this going. Just to set expectations, Coach Cole has confidence that some people will finish the air squats. I do. I think I think there's a lot of us that might not get very far into the air squats. So if that is you, don't beat yourself up. I have. There's no way to get this workout. Yeah. It's three minute rounds. Whatever happens in the round happens in the round. You move on to the next. They're gonna work for three minutes. It may be a little different than what someone else is doing, but that doesn't matter. All right. Let's get this party started. We're all at home anyway. Yeah. No one's watching. Maybe. Do you think? FBI. Do you think people do this at home? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you do this at home or not. Or if you don't do it at home, where are you doing it? Yeah, where do you do it? Do you like go to the gym and you just set your phone up? You do it right there? Or, I feel like a lot of people can do that. They're building gym and they're home gym. Yeah. This is best viewed on a smart TV, if you know what I mean. Just pull up YouTube and then you got us and What about like a projector? Even better. Yeah, viewed on a projector. Even better. I went to a friend's party one night and I actually <laughs> did you. What can I say? <laughs> 10 seconds, 20 ski hops. That's what's happening first. Go. Five, four, three, two, side to side. Here we go. Each one counts as one. If you're having a hard time with this, make them more shallow. You can get bigger over time. You can make that jump bigger over time. When you finish that 20, single arm thrusters are next. Pick an arm, get a ton done. Ten ton done. Ten done, and switch arms. Full squat, full elbow lockout overhead, please. Finish the whole rep, make it all count. Keep the stomach nice and tight on the squat. Again. 
Again, if you do five and five, not a bad idea probably for some of us. Just about one minute in. There it is, sit up. On the floor, touch the toes, that's behind the head. It's your time to breathe and move. You may find that you're swooping around a lot of these sit ups. There you go. I'm telling you, one mile. Someday I'm going to do it. You might move up a lot. I move back. Four back. Don't know why. Coach Cole wants to go to a track and see how, I don't how, want to, how many sit ups it takes to make a lap. <laughs> Thanks to Todd making me think about this. I completely lost count of my sit ups, but I'm looking for 30 from all of us who are counted. I'm at 19, I think. That's fine. I'm a little bit ahead of you. 30 air squats coming up. 60 seconds to go. We got a minute left. Cool. If you can bang out 30 air squats in a minute, that's awesome. Go ahead and hit it. If we're just coming into the air squats now, if you can kind of set yourself up for success in our next workout, these don't have to be the fastest air squats that we've ever done today. Well, this can be a nice solid pace that keeps you getting some reps in. It stays you ready to go for our next EMOM, next set of ski hops coming up. 30 seconds. So the sit-ups and these air squats, nice opportunity to catch your breath, ski hops, thrusters, can really get you hopping and puffing. We're going back to those ski hops in 10 seconds though. Remember when your last air squat was, it's a good goal for us to get near for the next five rounds. Going in three, two, side to side. Thrusters after this, same 20. Start on whichever arm you like, as long as you get those 20 in. I start on my left. So for these thrusters, remember when we were doing those push presses, particularly when you were starting to get fatigued, trying to think about using that lower body more, the squat actually gives you more range of motion to move through. So the upward motion, you can hopefully get a little more momentum, so you have to finish with less of a press overhead. If you're holding this weight forward, it might be a little easier for you to tip up off of your heels. So again, keep those feet planted. <sighs> Sit up to after those thrusters, we'll up to 30. Same thing as before. The goal is definitely you should get into some air squats. That should be our goal every time. There should be no reason you can't do it. As long as we hang on and breathe. So remember, for these sit-ups, touching in front of you, you might really want to try to sit through, try to keep that back as neutral as possible when you're sitting up. Hands should be touching the ground overhead, everywhere. Hands touch ground, sit up nice and tall. Touch ground, nice and tall. While we're hitting our sit-ups here, some way that I like to breathe during my sit-ups is out on my way up, in on my way down. Just gonna get rid of also on your way down to make your torso longer, you need more room for air on your way down. You might as well breathe in when there's more room for air and breathe out when you're pushing it out. About 50 seconds left. I've never thought about how I breathe when I'm doing some ups. <laughs> Look at that. But as Coach Cool was saying that, I was watching what I was doing and I do the same thing. So so it's like, your body naturally wants to breathe when it has room for air. Your body can breathe it out usually, yeah. Except when I'm doing thrusters and it doesn't want to breathe at all. 20 seconds, 
Again, if we're not going to finish the air squats out, take a pace we can finish while moving and be ready for round number three, which is coming in about 10. Up and side to side. Five, four, three, two. Here we are. Round three. Three of six. Crosses are next, we need that reminder. Squat and punch. So even though we're on this three minute clock, this three minute, this three minute, wait, where are the, 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 yeah, this three minute e bomb, not really three bomb, not a lot of rest, right? So you gotta find places to rest. It doesn't have to be one long duration of rest. So if you can find the second overhead, thruster, breath, thrust, breath. So trying to slow it down enough that you can keep moving, but not so much that it stops becoming a workout. And then once you get that dumbbell or kettlebell down, and then you go into these sit-ups, there's a lot of opportunity. Get your breath here. Coach School has already given you some things to think about. Halfway. As we're moving here, that, that sit up breath trick, that's just an idea, not even a trick. Something you can think about when you do air squats, even things like thrusters. Give yourself room to breathe when you have room to breathe. So, your torso is nice and long in a movement, that's probably when you want to take a breath in. Every extra ounce of the air is going to feel better when we're moving in groove. Six Four. seconds. halfway done here. Nice job, nice job. Keep moving, we got 30 seconds. And so we're back to our ski jumps. With these squats, Coach School was talking earlier about lazy squats, right? Me just kind of dropping my chest, confusing something like this as a squat. Take a chest and pick a spot in front of you. Keep your chest up and try to keep it up all the way up and then all the way down. That's a good little way to try to see where your torso is going. You got ski jumps in three, two, one. Here we go. Side to side. Here we go. These can be challenging for a couple of reasons. Just some coordination can make it challenging. Hip mobility can also make it challenging. So again, we have now our fourth round, still kind of struggling, keep them smaller. Don't try and make them nice and big. And then you can always go bigger over time. Ski hop can also be challenging for you if you're really nervous about falling over on camera, like I am. <laughs> so that's, that's why they're not my favorite, because I do not feel the most confident in my ability to stand up during them. We don't edit these if you haven't picked I, up on that. If you see it, it'll happen. No editing, no time for that. Sorry. The good, the bad, the ugly. We're real people, we make mistakes. No reason to try to hide that. Happy to be someone's entertainment if I have to do all over. <laughs> Past the halfway point today, we are on round four of six. If you know what squat numbers you've been getting to, 
Really try and stay in that range. I've been hitting about 20 to 25. That's my goal. Got three more sets of squats going for today. Try not. Stay focused today. Move with some purpose. Hit that squat number. As I'm saying so, I forgot my sit up number, so I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm so bad at talking. I'm so bad at talking and counting. If I'm trying to talk and count, I just try to do it with my fingers. So I try to still change a, a digit even if I'm talking. Oh, okay, that makes sense. What if I don't have 30 fingers? Well, then you're. Then you go back to 11 is one. <laughs> Got about 30 seconds here. There's some squats here. These are some real insider secrets here. <laughs> don't tell anybody. All right, 20 seconds. And then we got round five, round six. You're getting there. Keep it up. Back to some ski hops. Four, three, two, two more rounds for the That is all. Six minutes and we made it. Earn those last two though. So for these, what? We got this round and then one more. Probably the hardest part if you think having the weight makes it more challenging. So if you're almost there, mentally keep trying to push through. I can't reinforce this enough. Use your legs. Use your legs, jump it up, and then it makes this finished press out so much easier. You know some legs at all? Who sings it? My own song. <laughs> no. The legs of the song is about legs. That I always think of every time I say use your legs when coaching. Because it's so applicable. The song's like legs, legs. What's on the menu? Should I add it to the outfit class playlist? Well, she's a drag queen, so yes, please do. So I just uploaded our class playlist to our uh, Instagram link tree, like the link in the Instagram. Please listen, because I always sing it when I'm coaching and a lot of people don't know what it is. So I'm just left singing it. <laughs> Whoever gets to use your legs more, that's the key. All right. We are getting there. 60 seconds left in this round. Final round's coming up after that. All right, we need to get those air squats. Wait for that number, it's coming in it. Right, just over 30 seconds. Up and down. Chest up, kick a spot on the wall, keep that chest up, all the way down, all the way up. 25 seconds. Brooklyn has like not moves. She's doing great right now. <laughs> great space, Brooklyn. Crushing it over there. Way to hang on today. Last round coming up. That fire for me here, Brooklyn. Three, two, side to side. Last time on these movement. Last time through. Let's do it. Three minutes. Last time through. 
Can't stress this enough. Use those legs. Legs, legs. Let's go, let's go. Two minutes. Last two minutes. Find some sit ups. We're gonna get there today. Coming up on halfway. Punch it out, push it through. All right. We got sit ups, we got air squats. Almost there. See if you can hit your best number today. Last 90 seconds of work, that's all. Unlimited rest after. Hang up. Here we go. 115 to go. Here we go, last 60 seconds. Oh, I'm moving back, and I'm still sitting up. Hang on. Not easy through the last 50 here. Keep it going. Try to do some squats, up and down. All right, here we go, 35 seconds, that's it. Brooklyn must know we're almost done. She's waking up over there. Wants to come say hi in a minute. Here we go, let's finish nice and strong. 20 seconds. Chest up. Pick that spot in front of you. Last 15. Last 10. Here it is. Here we go. Finishing five. five. Four, three, two, last squat, and high. Thank you, for the record, 30 is plus one. 30 is. It can happen. I didn't think it was possible. I just thought some of us might not get there. Well, nice job, everybody. Nice I mean, job. I didn't get there most of the round. It's kind of a little point. A little Brooklyn. So, thank you for doing another workout with us. If you got this far, do us a favor, please go ahead and like this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps a lot. Comments help a lot too. So do us a favor, leave in the comments, where do you do this workout? Do you do it at home, in your bedroom, in your living room? Do you do it at a gym? Do you do it on the beach? I don't know what the answer is. Hopefully you'll tell us. Until next time though, I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. And this is Bill Clinton. We'll see you, take care. Peace out. Good God. <laughs> He's just so lovely. Yes.